welcome back to another video my name is jade if you're new here and if you're not new here then welcome to my channel so in today's video i did a little tutorial on how i curl my hair with strainers a lot of people believe it or not actually do ask me this all the time like how do you curl your hair and it's with strainers so um, i've done a wee video showing how i do it i don't know how helpful this video is going to be because i'm not very good at explaining things but filmed it anyway and i've also showed how i do this wee look this wee hairstyle that i'm constantly wearing we have up have done i mean it's quite self-explanatory but with the curls and stuff yeah i did it anyway but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah enjoy the video hi guys welcome to my hair tutorial so i've basically just come out of the shower and a shampoo and conditioned my hair but tell a lie actually i did do my makeup first and have my hair in like a towel turban and then i'm just brushing it through i don't know if any of you are the same but my hair gets so tuggy like especially when it's wet so i'm just giving it a good brush through so that it is nice and smooth for me to blow dry it because there's nothing worse than trying to blow dry your hair when it's all tuggy that's just not good so i'm just giving it a good brush yeah so once i've gave it a really good brush oh dropped my brush once I've given it a really good brush, then I'll take this Tresemme heat protectant spray. I don't actually know if this works, but I use it every time because I hopefully want to try and keep my hair a bit... Oh, God, am I? <laughs> want to try and keep my hair as healthy as I can, so I do use this all over my hair. And I feel like it kind of detangles it as well and helps me brush it out. So I use that heat protectant spray before, and then I also use a product after I've blow dried my hair. So I will show you that also. So now I'm just going to blow dry my hair. This usually takes me about 10 minutes. It just kind of depends on how wet my hair was before. Like if I've had it in a towel, it's usually a lot faster than if I've just came straight out of the shower and it's soaking wet. But yeah, so this hair dryer is unbelievable. It's such a good hair dryer and I literally have no info about it because the brand name on it is rubbed off and everything because it's so old. So I do apologise about that. This is me realising how bad my roots are, um, yeah, this lockdown life is not doing any good for my poor hair. Look at that line, it's an actual line. <laughs> So when my hair is all dry and it's in a kind of frizzy, puffy kind of way, I'll just take some of this V05 um, heat protect serum. It does like kind of two jobs. Obviously, it's supposed to help my like protect my hair from the heat of the straighteners, but it also kind of flattens down the frizz and just makes my hair feel a bit softer. As you can see, it kind of does just make my hair look a lot straighter and not puffy. And then I'm just going to clip up half my hair just to get out my face. And then I basically just straighten the top half of my hair just to kind of get rid of the kind of fuzziness and the puffiness. Um, and it just makes the curl look a bit sleeker, I think. I think it's quite an important step, both for me anyway. And it just means the top's not puffy or anything. And yeah, it just makes the curl look a lot nicer. There I go, dropping stuff again. Okay, hi everyone. It's me now actually talking, well, not live, but on, on camera. Um, yeah, so as you've seen, I've done, dried my hair and oh. stuff. I straighten my hair with, no I don't, I curl my hair with straighteners. Um, so I, people a lot of the time do ask me how I curl my hair and it's with straighteners. But my straighteners that I always swore by, they're on the floor somewhere. These ones here, it's just GHD, um, I've no idea what they're called, they're just ancient GHD straighteners, and it's the thin ones, and I got these for my Christmas, so it's the thick 
ones so obviously i use these for sh when i want to do my hair like polka straight and they're great but i never really thought about using them as curlers i just didn't think that would work at all and i tried it a few times and it wasn't ideal and then one day i actually sat and done it for ages and i think i've kind of mastered it now with the big straighteners but if you're looking to curl your hair with straighteners and you've never done it before definitely use the smaller straighteners so i will show you how i do it with the smaller straighteners as well like how i do it it's the exact same but just to show you so i've just obviously straightened the top half of like my head not like proper straight just to kind of flatten it down a bit i always work from the back to the front so i'll take like section of hair looks like this so looks like this and then I'll take oh then I turn them on oh you're joking and then I'll take my straighteners and I'll go down once just like a straightener and then I just flip it over and then I can I've already shaped it so I haven't shaped it again. But um, so I take it and I kind of flip it over. And you kind of want your hair to be like that flat brushed kind of way. And then I like kind of pulse it. And then I think the trick to getting a nice curl is see when it comes to the end of the curl, turn the straightener. Right, let me show you. So literally turn it until the very last strand of the hair has been through the straightener. Because that's what gives you the way like the bottom of the hair is curled i feel like that's how you get the, the certain curls that i go for because all the curlers i usually use the bottom of it never gets right round because i'll burn my finger so it just never looks the way i wanted it to look so with straighteners you like keep turning it at the bottom i'll show you again i do want to learn how to like pin curl my hair well i've done it before but it didn't really work out very well i think it just needs like a shit ton of herpes or like big hair clips but i've actually ordered ordered last night the obviously she's got the pure nicest curls hopefully the curl kit is up to its expectations but we're going to find out because I'm, I'm going to do a review video on it i'm going to try it out on camera first time opening it and all that i'm going to do that so that's a video that is coming up so stay tuned hello me again i'm just going to quickly talk through because i don't think i really explain it that well so i basically take a bit of hair comb through it fingers brush and then make sure it's kind of flat flip it down and then just kind of pulse it down or if you have really sleek hair you could probably just like pull it down but i'd recommend just pulsing it down your hair and then when it gets to the bottom make sure you turn the straightener till literally every last bit of hair has been through the straightener because that you want to get that end kind of curl look so that you get a wee curl looking like that
do. These are the curls that I always do. I never, literally, I don't know if any user like me, I never used to cuddle my hair because it would just never work. Like, I'd actually sit and try to cuddle my hair for so long and it just wouldn't work. The straighteners are just where I've found to give my hair the best, quite, like, natural. Not, yeah, like, natural, loose, kind of soft curl. And then also you can just style your hair however you want. If you know me, I rarely, or if you've been watching my videos, I rarely ever have my hair just down like this. Um, I always either have like fake glasses in my head, sunglasses, um, or my hair done a kind of half up, half down kind of way, or like clipped like this. Like, I just hate all this in my face, it just, nah. Um, so I'll quickly show you how I style my hair. hair i hope you enjoyed this video um yeah that's just my advice is just stay calm because it can be it can be a pure pain in the arse but if you just stick to it practice like practice before you actually do it for like an event or something but yeah and i'd use the smaller straighteners and remember to curl it at the bottom for a wee curl but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed if you did like the video then please like it and subscribe so i hope you've enjoyed and yeah thanks so much for watching bye